Scotland women coach Karen Finlay, a uh, great win for the girls today. Absolutely phenomenal win today. Um, fantastic. We've, the girls have had to work exceptionally hard since we've been here and you know they've, they've, they've had some real tough knocks when setbacks in the Six Nations but today the team went out, the objective was to win and secure a bonus point. Hopefully if the performance just kept on build and build and build and uh, we scored five fantastic tries. Five fantastic. So we get we get the win and we get the bonus point. And I mean some, as you're saying, some fantastic tries but all different kinds of tries. Oh, a, a huge amount of tries but the pleasant thing about the tries was they, uh, they, we created phases we built phases and our outside back scored the tries so I'm really really pleased and our, our skipper did a tremendous job to secure the fourth try had the had the initiative to pick tap and went herself scored for a good 15 meters out and the last try from our standoff Tanya Griffiths was just fantastic really spotted the gap they were forcing the defense forcing the push and she stepped inside right under the post great day and there's some amazing tackles particularly Tracy Barmer oh Tracy the front row today were worked exceptionally hard because let's face it the, the Conditions, but it, not used to them. It's exceptionally hot here. Um, they going to moan about that, though. Being a Scottish <laughs> person, they going to moan about it. But um, you know, front row and Lindsay Smith in particular the day, starting hooker. She had the best game I've seen. I think I've ever played in a rugby shirt for Scotland. So really pleased. And two great debuts as well. Uh, oh. Fantastic. Sam Beale, early injury on the first half, probably didn't expect to go in that early in the game. She did she did a tremendous job and so fantastic to see Gillian Ingalls back in a Scotland shirt. Twelve made some of the tries today because she was able to step inside. So yeah, delighted. I'm just so delighted for the team. So onwards and upwards for Tuesday. Yeah, I mean back to you know, back to square one. We're gonna take it a game on game. We said we weren't concerned about anybody else in this tournament till we put the Holland game to bed. So we've done that. That's now done. Italy have played some more this morning, giving them a fair old um, thumping really, considering. However, you know, we played Italy in the Six Nations and Italy got off, they got off the hook really by us. So we'll now just go into that game knowing everything's to play for. So Beth Dickens 50th cap today and some way to remember it. That's brilliant, just it's as uh, as our captain said to us before we went out on the pitch, it's one thing to play in the Scotland ship, it's another to win in it and it's just absolutely awesome experience. So talk us through the game. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it all actually went really fast. Um, the uh, first half we went, we, we scored a try and then, and then they got one back and for a while it was a little, it was quite even and then in the second half we just uh, kind of let ourselves go and uh, got the tries. Yeah, and there were some great tries as well. Awesome tries, Susie yeah. Brown's off the, off the line out, brilliant, brilliant try. Um, and the ones from our backs, from Megan got around, the, around the outside, just awesome. Yeah. And some weather to have to cope with as well. I know, I was contemplating not wearing my shoulder pads today, but uh, they uh, won out just from habit in the end. But yes, it's, uh, it's rather warm. <laughs>